we will now make our way to the next stop, the Aldwark Synagogue. Continue along the wall and descend the steps leading down to Peaceholm Green. Follow the route on your map to the building with bright blue doors housing the Royal Air Forces Association on Aldwark. The rear of this building, best seen from the nearby gated driveway, was the site of York Synagogue during the late 19th and 20th centuries. Stop here to listen to more about the synagogue and the revival of York's Jewish community. Though on first impressions we appear to be standing at a fairly unremarkable location, this site is actually one of the most important in the modern Jewish history of York. As recently as 1975, it was here that the Jewish population of York maintained their synagogue. Whilst we may think of religious devotion being carried out in more official, purpose-built locations, actually, for a synagogue, the building is less important and worship can take place anywhere where there exists a group of Jewish individuals. Located behind this former joiner's shop, the synagogue and its community were founded in 1886 at a time when Jews were finally beginning to return to York in numbers reaching 124 individuals by 1903. It seems to have had quite a close relationship with the joiner's shop. Originally, work would stop here when a service was held, as the joiner's wife was a Jewish woman, and when the joiner's shop closed in 1975, so did the synagogue. York's Jewish community has hereafter been closely linked to those in Leeds when providing official services. This site also helps to understand one of the famous ideas or myths about York's Jewish history. Some believe there was a Jewish curse which is called a Hairim placed on the city and that Jews cannot eat or spend the night in York. The origins of this are very mysterious and no early reference to the Hairim can be found. Nevertheless, it has been attributed to the massacre of York's Jews in 1190 some people have used this idea of a harem to explain why Jews never really returned to York in sufficient numbers. However, the Jewish community was substantial in the early 1200s, which is evidenced through property documents and through the large number of bodies from the Jewish families that were settled in York in the period after 1190. Also, there could be another, less mysterious explanation as to why there was not a large Jewish community in more recent times. In between the expulsion of the Jews in 1290 and the time of the major Jewish immigration to England in the 19th century, the social and economic landscape of Britain had been radically transformed. York was no longer the important political and economic centre it had once been. For anyone coming to Britain in the 19th century, there was no real incentive to live in York. For an overwhelmingly urban community whose livelihood depended on trade and commerce, this will be particularly true. In this light, it is easier to understand why it is only in 1886 that York's first post-medieval synagogue is opened, and why the Jewish population of York was so small. It also explains why Jewish communities did re-establish themselves in cities like London, Leeds and Manchester, but not York. It is unlikely that the massacre of 1190 has had any real influence on later Jewish settlement. Though the Jewish population has fluctuated in the 20th century, dropping to as low as 20 in 1955, it has seen a remarkable growth recently, and according to the 2001 census, the population numbered nearly 200. During the Second World War, refugees, including many Jews, were brought to the city by the York Refugee Committee. New research carried out by Victoria Hoyle at York City Archives is revealing for the first time the contribution the residents of York made to the efforts to help people escape Nazi persecution. Formed in November 1938 and staffed by volunteers, the committee helped settle refugees in the city with great success. By the May of 1939, there were 118 refugees here. After the war, 
many of these refugees chose to stay in York, a lasting testament to the success of the committee.